What are the seven natural wonders of the world? 1. Mount Everest. Three mountain climbers make their way up Mount Everest. A view of Mount Everest from Gokyo, Saiger Matha National Park, Kambu Valley, Nepalese Himalayas. Image, Daniel Prudik Shutterstock.com. Mount Everest is renowned as the highest spot on Earth, at 8,848.86 meters above sea level. It is parked right on the border between Nepal and Tibet, and it is protected by Sagar Matha National Park in the Himalayas. Mount Everest's original name in Tibetan is Komolungma and in Nepalese it is Sagar Matha. The mountain received an English name in 1865, because Nepal and Tibet were closed to foreigners at the time, so the Royal Geographical Society in Britain did not know the mountain's local names. You can get a helicopter tour to get as close to the peak as possible without actually climbing the mountain, and this may be preferable for many people. Climbing Mount Everest is not something to be attempted lightly. The trek to base camp alone takes around 14 days. It's also not a weekender trip. If it's snowing, you probably won't physically be able to get near the mountain. Delays are not unusual. Did you know? While Mount Everest is the highest spot above sea level on Earth, it is not actually the tallest mountain when measured from base to tip. That distinction belongs to the Mauna Kea volcano in Hawaii, which extends 4.2 kilometers into the air and around 6 kilometers into the sea. And because the Earth is not a perfect sphere, the tallest mountain in terms of distance from the Earth's center is Mount Chimborazo in Ecuador whose peak is around 2 kilometers closer to the stars than Everest. When to visit, most specialist travel websites tend to recommend September, November or April, May, as Mount Everest is safely locked away by stormy snow for most of the year. How to get there, fly into Beijing or Shanghai, then fly or take a train to Lhasa and drive or trek to the base camp. Alternatively, you can fly into Kathmandu in Nepal and make your way to the base camp or take a helicopter from that side. Travel Insurance Canstar researches and rates travel insurance to visit China, and many insurance providers that we rate offer cover for snow sports and rock climbing. Cover to actually climb Mount Everest would require phoning up and giving an insurer all the details you can, to make sure you can get adequate cover. On top of this, the Chinese and Nepalese governments both require that you get permits and climber's insurance before climbing. The exact details of what this will cover and what it will cost may vary depending on where and when you buy it.